Imagine spawning into a Minecraft Hunger Games filled with 100 other players with the goal to be the last player alive. What will happen when I have to face betrayal and fight against some of Minecraft's deadliest players? Well, I was about to find out, as I spawned into this giant arena with 100 other players. Alright, let's go, let's go. Uh, oh, there's a barrel, here we go. A uh, spear, some bread. Alright, let's get out of here. I then started running through the forest away from Cornucopia as fast as possible, as some players already started to die after they had gone for the loot in the middle. And as I continued running through the forest, I spotted a few players, so started following them, hoping to group up and form an early alliance. Are you guys chill? Yeah. Nobody's chill, Sword. You can't trust anybody. Okay, okay. I'm gonna run left then. Come with me. Stick with me. Stick with me, Sword. Stick with you? You just said no one's chill. After agreeing to stick together, me, Clown Pierce, and Gibrielander formed District 26 and stuck together as we tried our best to escape this area, as players nearby continued to die. And as we started exploring further into the map, we spotted a structure in the distance. There's a structure over there. Over where? To the left. We're not, um, we're not going there. We're, we're going we're this direction. Are you sure? There's going to be loot in there. Yeah, I'm sure, Sword. We got to get away from everybody. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. the point. Knowing that the structures around this map would likely be a hot spot, we ignored them and continued running into the distance, which turned out to be a great idea, as players had already arrived at this place and started fighting over the loot inside. Oh! Oh. Trippy, oh my god, this is like the Hunger Games. So as players that hung around Cornucopia continued to fight or form their own districts, we continued running hoping to avoid any other players that were lurking nearby. And eventually, we decided to stop running to make some progress by chopping down some trees for basic tools and sharing out the loot that we found in the barrels at the start. Clown, are you good with a bow? Uh, relatively. But as I was sharing out the loot, Clown Pierce quickly crafted a wooden sword and started attacking our teammate. Whoa! What are you doing? He's a risk sword. We don't take risks. Come here, Gabriel. You can't run forever. You can try. With the thought that Gabriel would backstab us at some point, Clown Pierce decided to try and eliminate him from the games early on, which failed as he was able to narrowly escape into the forest. And as we continued chasing, he led us all the way through the forest and eventually spotted a castle in the distance that he hoped to use as a way to escape. Oh, he's going towards the castle. He's gonna, he's gonna get away here. We're, we're gonna need to be careful. As we approached this castle, we realized we wouldn't be alone here as a group of five players that had teamed up at the start had already found this place and looted everything inside, making them one of the strongest teams at this point, meaning going anywhere near them would be a horrible idea. Clown, don't follow, don't follow, don't follow, Clown, don't. No, 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 he's gonna hold the grudge now. There's people to the left, look how many people there. Worry. Clown, they're coming. Okay, okay, let's get out of here. Clown, like, run, 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 run. There's so many people, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Why did you do that? Sure. I mean, he was going to backstab us for sure. Well, we've created one enemy. <laughs> Don't worry, Sword. We're going to make a whole lot more. So as Gibriel Ender had managed to narrowly escape death, he stayed silent in the castle as the five-player group that we had seen a few seconds before started chasing us. Oh, there's people following us. There's people following us. Do we dig down or keep running? Uh, Keep running. With this group right on our tail, we had no choice but to continue running as we made our way through the forest, hoping to escape their view. Should we head into the jungle? There's a jungle here. Oh yeah, we could go to the jungle if we want. Let's go. Oh, clown. Oh, you just created as a, <laughs> an enemy off the bat. Oh, it's Sword, you're teaming with me. We're going to have a lot more than just one. Oh, okay. After losing them in the forest, it seemed the coast was clear. So we made our way into the jungle to try and avoid running into any other groups, as players all over the map continued to group up with anyone willing to team to give them a chance of winning this event. But now, with the threat of nearby players reduced for us after losing them, we were able to start talking about our plans moving forward. Once we can go down and start mining and stuff, we can find like a cave or something. Exactly. We need it. We don't have food, so we need structures first. Yeah, we need true. to find a structure, get food, and then go underground. I think we should be in the clear I now. I don't see anyone i think we should be good i didn't get a player tracker from the middle because i just ran i'm not well i ran with yeah, you yeah me too a player tracker would have been nice though just to make sure not even to track people but just to know that we're in the clear for most of the time yeah back at cornucopia the barrels at the middle included several items that were incredibly op at the start of this event such as shields custom weapons and most importantly a player tracker that allowed you to locate the closest nearby player 
So in case we were still being tracked somehow, we stayed on the move as we went deeper into the jungle. Is there like a jungle temple here or anything we can loot? Should we try and go up and see if we can spot one? There's an opening a little bit further ahead there. Let's see what we can Oh, uh, sure. Do. Oh, wait, there's something over there. Up ahead was a camp, but as we arrived, we quickly realized that this place had already been looted. There's nothing. Has it already been nothing. looted? Nothing. Oh, it's Nothing. been... Someone's been here then, I assume. Has it? Oh, it has. Oh. Well. All right, we need to watch our back then. there's players in the area. Yeah. Only moments before we had arrived, a group of players that were also trying to escape the chaos at Cornucopia had swooped through here and taken everything inside. So, knowing that there were players nearby, we had to be careful. Somebody up there. They must have loot. You, you still got Let's that sword. Up. You got a sword. I do. Okay. Any rooms. Trusting you here. What's up? Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, you? Pretty good. I didn't know you were joining. Not for long. What is that? Okay, wait, this guy. Nice. Come on, we can get another one here. Yeah, it's stuck. Nice! Let's go! Alright. Right, loot up. He had Those an apple. He didn't, he didn't have much loot on him. No, but I mean, he got rotten right flesh somehow. With our first two kills in the bag, only 85 tributes remained as 15 had already been eliminated. But as we looted through these bodies, it was quickly clear to us that these weren't the only players nearby. Oh, the player, 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 player over there to the left as well. Player to the left. There's a player down there. Yeah, let's get that player. We gotta catch up. With no idea that we were hunting him down, this player continued making his way through the jungle, allowing Clown Pierce to sneak up on him and launch an attack. Nice. Good stuff. Wow. They... <laughs> Much that was loot. Interesting. A stick. That was it. Oh, wait. They drop rotten flesh. Oh, that's them. Yeah. That's their bodies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm eating them right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought you what realized that. You should have bones as well, right? Yeah, I do. After realizing we had been living off the flesh of the tributes that we had killed, we started looking for a more sustainable food source. And as we made our way deeper into the jungle, Clown Pierce found a mushroom that gave him an idea. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. A uh, red mushroom. Oh. Red mushroom? You might have an idea. <laughs> oh, sorry. I might have a, a devious little plan, but we need to find a brown mushroom as well. Okay. I don't know what you mean, but I'll I'll trust you with it. You don't know what a brown mushroom is? Yeah, but like, I, I don't know what your devious plan is. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Unsure as to what Clown was planning, we continued making our way through the jungle looking for a brown mushroom. And it quickly became clear to us that we still weren't alone here. Oh. Yeah, okay. Did you... What was that? Somebody's here. Yeah, I just heard Thanks. leaves break. Oh, no, that was me. That was me. No, it was to my left. Yeah. Who's oh, here? Well. There's someone here. Just watch out. I feel like... Oh, yeah, here. Absolutely. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, I knew there was, bro. I heard, I heard him break leaves. Nice. <sighs> okay, he had some wheat. How much wheat did he have? Oh, two. Oh, I've got four. So make two pieces of bread. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> is the not so hungry games for us. After taking down another player and restoring some of our hunger, we were starting to make some good progress. But with the larger teams also making progress all over the server, we'd still have to be careful. Let's, let's upgrade our sword real quick. Okay. Uh, this is just a real quick procedure. Okay, I've, t I've got an iron one, so I'm going to just scale this tree to see if I can see anything above, uh, above us while you do that. Uh, all right, be careful. I try not to separate too much. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything around here? Oh, there is. Yo, cl clown, 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 clown. Hello? Clown, I see something in the distance. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me two I seconds. I don't know if it's been looted already. But Let's take a chance. We then made our way over towards the structure in the distance, and as we approached, we spotted another tribute that had also just arrived. Yeah, this looks like a place that has traps. Be very careful. Be very careful. Oh, and a player. Oh. Hello, Matthew. Please don't go. Oh, the, oh, that was brutal. Oh, but look at that loot. Right, let, let's just check this place out. What even is this? What's going on? Oh, what is this? What is this? There is a trap. Wait, what, whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. There's, there's tripwire hooks. What type of trap is it? There was this tripwire hook here. I think they've already set it off. Oh, it goes down. This has already been looted. Yo, how did people... I thought we ran quick, but people have clearly been quicker than us. Yeah, and we haven't even killed any of them because we didn't get the loot from them. Yeah, none of them have got loot. 
I bet the people that have swooped these have got in and out quick though. And we were right. Similar to the camp, a group of players had found this structure a few minutes before us, as they hadn't been slowed down by fighting other players, allowing them to get in and out of this place pretty quickly with all of the loot before we arrived. <sighs> okay, right, we need to set up a, a more sustainable food source, because I'm out of food completely right now. Uh, here. Oh, some <laughs> oh yummy! Human meat. Yay. Alright, we gotta get out of here, though. We gotta... Yeah. Man, is everything looted? Surely not. All right, what's the plan? I, how much spare cobble you got? Spare cobble? I got two. Yeah. Oh, Here. okay. Uh, it's not ideal. Oh, you uh, can get some more. Here. Yeah, should we actually dive down and see if we can find one of those mushrooms real quick? And maybe get some iron? Sure. Okay, actually, I still, I still need something from the surface, so I'll just be right back. Okay. So as we made our way underground to start grabbing some resources, I quickly found a cave. Yo, mine towards me. There's a big cave. Uh, quite a lot of dripstone as well. Oh, that could be handy actually. Yeah, oh. could be could be nice. Set up a little trap maybe. Maybe. Oh, iron. As we tried our best to safely navigate this cave, we started grabbing all of the iron around us, hoping to craft some armor before any more players found us, as we had no idea who was lurking nearby. And as we made our way through the caves, we quickly found exactly what we had been looking for. Okay, yeah, you can get that. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what <laughs> oh, I clown! What? What is that thing right down there? <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. This is very. This is huge. Okay, right. can you tell me the plan uh, yet? I'm intrigued. I want to know. No, no, no. I, I gotta show you the plan. I gotta oh, okay. Uh, sh should I carry on mining, or do you want to show me now? Okay, yeah, keep mining. Keep mining. Okay. I'll, I'll get it ready in a sec. Okay. So as clown wasn't ready to reveal his big plan yet. This gave me time to grab a bunch more iron, and as I continued to explore through these caves, I spotted another food source. What's oh, okay, I'm gonna grab some of these glowberries. These are good food. With no other source of food in these caves, these glowberries would definitely be helpful. But not all berries on the server were safe to eat, as a few players that were on the surface had grabbed some sweet berries early on, which turned out to be poisonous. Oh, this is what I need right now. The poisonous oh, Are you kidding me, bro? So as a few players learn about the poisonous berries the hard way, we continued gathering resources underground, as some of the larger teams had already geared up their entire group and were starting to make their way around the map looking for players to kill. And after gathering 38 pieces of iron, Clown had finally collected everything he needed to show me the plan that he had been working towards. Come here. Yo. Alright. What's, what's going on? Are you ready? Do I need to... Should I be close? Oh! Oh! You're gonna make stew. <laughs> yeah. But not just oh. any stew. Not just any stew, sword. Put in the mushrooms. Put in the dandelion. And put in the bowl. Okay. Suspicious and now, stew. eat. And watch your hunger. Yeah, but am I gonna get effects from this as well? Yes. Watch your hunger. Oh! Yup. Ooh! You, my friend, have full saturation now. This stew gave us saturation, allowing us to heal almost our entire hunger bar every single time it was consumed, making this by far the best food source possible for us. But with limited dandelions and mushrooms, we'd need to try our best to get our hands on some more bone meal to allow us to gather more of the resources that we needed. Do you have more bone meal on you? No, I've got no bone meal. Zero bone meal? Zero. Unbelievable. I know. We could try and find a structure with spawners in it. Get some skeletons. Oh, true. Or kill some more players. <laughs> oh, I like what you're saying. I like what you're yeah, saying. It's a little devious there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm yeah. looking at the tab right now. Uh, there's The highest team that I can see is 41. Or oh, 43, actually. So, there's, there's quite a lot of small teams out there. Okay. Yeah, For we can yeah, we go for some small teams. There's also quite a lot of people. Gibriel Ender, the guy you tried to kill, is still alive. Uh, yeah, we gotta fix that. But killing some of the players in the smaller groups would still be dangerous, as resurfacing would only expose us to some of the bigger groups that were making their way around the map looking for players to kill. But as day one came to an end, defending ourselves would soon become easier, as the sun started to rise, unlocking the first crafting recipes of the event. Oh. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, let's make a shield. Yeah, yeah, let's get that done. During this event, certain crafting recipes would be unlocked over time, meaning we'd slowly be able to progress and eventually craft golden apples, player trackers, and diamond armor, which at the moment was still locked. 
So after making some shields that had finally become craftable, we agreed to continue mining to gather enough resources to make sure that when the recipe for diamond armor was available, we could craft it. And as we went deeper underground, we started finding what we needed. Oh, there's more mushrooms down here. I've gone a long way from where he is right now. But there's mushrooms here. Oh, and it's going... Oh, lapis. Okay, that's going to be helpful for when we go and enchant. Okay. Oh, diamonds. Okay, it was good that we came down here. Oh, another player just died. I wonder how they just died. Oh, my God. You... Yo, I got one diamond and a little bit of gold. Oh, yeah, it, 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 come, it came straight down. Oh, uh, gravel here as well. Should we grab this gravel for flint? Yeah, good idea. Oh, oh, watch out. We're good. Honestly, I think the most beneficial thing for us right now is just to find full diamond. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh. Full diamond armor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a word about that. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Uh, yeah, I agree, to be honest. So, as we agreed that mining for diamonds would be far more beneficial than going up to the surface, we got to work and started grabbing a bunch of diamonds from these caves, trying our best to avoid the players on the surface that were exploring through the map and finding structures which seemed to be very deadly. Someone said vindicators. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hell no. Full health, I got killed instantly? Oh, interesting vindicators. So as we questioned how players above were dying, we continued mining and split up as we grabbed as many diamonds as we could, eventually allowing us to regroup with more than enough. How many diamonds you want? 40. 41. Whew. Oh my we're, god. We're doing good. Unbelievable. I outdid you. But you got more subs, so I kind of lose. Yes! This is actually a perfect time to say, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a million subscribers before this guy, before Clown Pierce. So, please subscribe. It's kind of close. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, there's going to be a bunch more like this in the future. So, just please subscribe. Yo, I think we should try and loot some of these structures that are above the ground as well. We should go up. Should we actually yeah, just go up? And just... I think so. Yeah, yeah let's just go idea. up. We've got diamonds now. The structures are going to have some crazy loot inside. And as we made our way to the surface after mining for a while, day three had officially started, unlocking the crafting recipe for golden apples and player trackers. Oh. Day three. Oh. Golden apples and compass and... Oh, golden apples. Okay, that's nice. So after cooking our gold and crafting a compass, we were able to test out the player trackers for the first time. All right, let's make this. This should allow me to track you now. Yeah, nearby, four. Okay, right, I can track where you are. So we can see it's going to kind of get clashed by ourselves. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's us. But if we split up or Six? anything, it's, it's not bad. How? Wait, how near are we talking? What? Like three blocks. You're right next to me. Yeah, but it says nearby two. Yeah. Oh, oh, two blo blocks. Oh, blocks. Oh, oh, oh. Not oh, players. Okay. Oh, oh I, I come was, on. I was saying, wow, this is going, this is going up very fast. Uh, where are they? <laughs> There's a big group of people rolling through. After some slight confusion, we continued making our way up to the surface on the hunt for some dandelions, as we were almost completely out of food. And eventually, we broke back out into the jungle. Should we get some high ground, see if we can uh, look um, out where to go? We need like, to get out of the dun uh, dungeon the jungle. jungle. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get out of the jungle. Uh... Well, I'm out of food, by the way, so... Well, you, you'll be fine. Yeah. Well, if we run into someone, it might be a different situation, but... No, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, of course. Are we open? Let's, we need to discuss this as well. Because the likelihood of us, us taking a large team is is unlikely. So, are you open to join anybody else joining? Or are you going to try and kill them again? Hmm. Uh... I'll decide in the moment. Oh, God, okay. I'll probably try and kill him again, though. Yeah, I, I felt like that was going to be the answer. It's fine, it's fine. We're not going to need anybody else to win. With it being pretty clear that Clown didn't want to risk teaming with any other players, we continued making our way through the jungle and eventually made our way back towards the camp that we had found earlier on. Oh, there's an opening here. Oh, we're back at that camp. All right, so we're nearly out of the jungle, I think. Yeah. You could bone meal some... I'm completely out of food, by the way. Um, you could bone me off of some dandelions. With my supply of glowberries having completely run out, we decided to try and use bone meal to get some more dandelions for stew, as we couldn't find any spawning naturally nearby. Wait, let me put this moss. Have you got anything that you can compost? Because you get more bone meal, we get a few more here. Um, a lot of seeds, I guess. Yeah, throw them in. Oh, that's three more bone meal right there. Oh, look at that, two more dandelions. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 Here, here's an idea, here's an idea. Did we just crack the Da Vinci code? Oh, yes. Can you put the leaves in? Moment of truth here. We need it. We need it. Oh, oh my God. We can. Yes. Okay. Drop me some more iron. I need to make some shears. 
With an almost infinite amount of leaves nearby, we got to work gathering them and grabbing as many dandelions as we could, giving us enough resources to make a load of suspicious stew. And as we worked away in this jungle, players all over the map continued to fight, bringing the total amount of tributes remaining down to 68. But not all players were dying to each other, as a player called Dragon Mac had actually died to his own trap that he had tried to make, hoping to eventually catch somebody else out. Somebody died to their own trap. <laughs> yep. So there are traps then. That must have been a good trap yeah. if it killed him. Or a bad one. And as we joked about this trap, other players all over the map continued to fight, as big groups hunted down solo players, eliminating them from the event. But as these players continued to fight, we were still completely off the grid, away from everyone, as we were busy grabbing dandelions and just messing around. I still think we should fish at some point. Why? I want. I feel like the one time that I fish, I'm gonna get like a, a good book. I don't know. Okay, I just want this is, one, this is, one cast. This is what I always feel in events, and then I spend 30 minutes fishing, and then I get fish. Well, at least, hey, food. I'm not gonna complain about getting food. I've got no food. Oh, we have a lot of food now. We could be doing a lot of running looking for people. I'm also still kind of curious as to what a rose gives you. I might test it. There's no way, it's not gonna blow me up, is it? Like, I'm not just gonna die. No, it's never gonna kill you. It's never oh, gonna, it's just okay. not gonna be worth it. Try roses, try it, try it. And honestly, that one is probably uh, re uh, regen. All right, let's give it a try. Here we go. Night vision? Oh, oh, well that, yeah, that was a waste of time. We, you do not have to be afraid. All we gotta do is not quick drop. And then once we have the diamond armor, we go to mid, we enchant it, and then we go ham. I can't promise on the no quick drop. Nobody stands a chance anymore. I can't promise on the no quick drop. Well, you're going to do your darn best. Even though Clown was against the idea of fishing, other districts had actually dedicated a bunch of time to it, as the players from District 46 had set up camp at a river and had been able to fish out a bunch of enchanted books and OP bows, whereas some other players weren't so lucky as they tried to fish below the surface and were attacked by other players. How about we fish? Oh! I like the fishing idea now. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I thought we had less yeah. time. How the turntables, eh? Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. Is there any more parrots that I can just murder? In parrots? Cold oh, my God. You ruthless. Hey, oh my ruthless? You tried to kill our teammate at the start after 20 seconds, and he's still alive? <laughs> hey. It's embarrassing. Don't say that. I don't need to be reminded of it. All right. That's pretty good. Right. Let's, so go. let's go. Let's go. Finally, after being in this jungle for long enough, we had enough dandelions and agreed to move on as we made our way out of the jungle and started looking for some players. But as we started our search, Clownpiss spotted something else instead. Wait, look. What? People? What's going on? It's a natural dandelion. What does that mean? That means that they do spawn normally. Oh, okay. What do dandelions do? Look me in the eyes and repeat that question. What do dan- Oh, wait. Oh, dandelions are what we've been getting. Oh, shit. My <laughs> yes. My, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we then continued on the search for other players and started trying to relocate the castle that Gabriel Ender had escaped to earlier on after seeing countless players in chat talking about a large team that had set up there, which actually turned out to be District 44, which was a five-player team that had taken advantage of this castle by transforming the hostile mob spawner inside to a mob farm, where they were able to farm XP and infinite arrows, which would make taking them down very hard. But finding the castle again would be harder than expected. That castle's around here as well, by the way, somewhere, because this, this is yeah, back towards mid. I like, see the palm it's trees. this direction. No, that's, that's the mid. That's towards zero, I zero. the castle was this way. No, this is mid. No, I don't... No, I don't sell your soul short. This is a pretty good event. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> right, oh, going. shut up! <laughs> no! I, that took me so long to realize what the hell you were trying to say. That was, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> So after Clown made a horrible joke, we avoided going back towards Cornucopia, as we knew that there would probably be large teams setting up nearby, as the only enchantment table on the entire server was located there. So as we went in the opposite direction, we entered the plains and spotted something in the distance. Oh, there's a farm! Oh, wait, there is a farm. And that's not very grown either. That looks like it's freshly placed. Watch out, we could be close to someone. 
This farm actually belonged to a friend of mine, that only a few minutes earlier was approached and invited to District 52, meaning there was a five player group around this area that we had no idea about. Look at these seeds, unless they left the chunks maybe? Grab it all anyway. Is it? There, there's no one around here, surely there's gotta be someone, this farm's fresh. And as we decided to make the most of this place by farming some crops, the sun had officially risen for day four. Supply drops. Ooh. Ooh. We should get those. Yeah. During the whole of day four, supply crates were going to be dropped into the map, giving players access to rare materials like brewing resources, ender pearls, and custom weapons. So getting our hands on the loot inside of these drops would be very important for the final battle. Oh. What? Minus one, oh, two, two. Let's go. Uh, oh, that's on the other side oh, of the map. Oh, that's far. Should we try though? Yeah, might, let's try. We'll find people there. The first supply drop was over 2,000 blocks away from our current location. And with the coordinates of this crate being broadcasted to every player in chat, we knew that we'd have to be quick if we wanted the loot inside. So started making our way over. But as we made our way across the map, we realized the fastest way to the supply drop was by traveling through Cornucopia. And as expected, there were a lot of players nearby. Oh, there's builds here. Oh, there's people, there's people, there's people. Watch out, watch out. I see them. How many? How many? I see, I see two. One of them's got like a pitchfork or something. Look What's through that up? gap there. Look through it. Come What's here. Come, come here. Look through the gap. Follow me. Follow me. Okay. Oh. There was two people. I saw. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. Is there? Oh, yeah. At least three. Actually... And they're enchanted. Oh, there are so many. There's so many of them over there. Okay, come with me. Leave. Yeah, let's go around. No, yeah, let's not let's not mess with them yet. There's a few too many. If there was three, <sighs> they must then have just maybe, looted but... it all. I bet they, they bet they grabbed all the loot in the mid. Probably. If, if they've set up there, they're confident. They would be, yeah. I mean they have so many, they can be. These players were a part of District 14, which had five players that had decided to set up a base at Cornucopia, as they planned to control the enchantment table at the middle. So after realizing this group was far too big and strong for us to take on, we decided to loop around Cornucopia to avoid running into them. But the players controlling the middle weren't the only ones nearby, as some players had actually set up camp on top of the trees around us, meaning as we made our way through the forest over towards the supply drop, we had to be careful as we could be attacked at any point. People are dying, I think they've, they've maybe at the supply drop. Oh yeah, true. We're quite a bit out, we gotta go left a bit. We then continued making our way over towards the drop and eventually spotted some players. Oh, there's people there. There's two of them. Where? On horses. Oh, yeah. It turned out these two players had actually looted the supply drop before we could arrive, making them incredibly overpowered as they now had access to horses after finding saddles in the crate, which they had already used to take down a few players moments before we had found them. And with no idea how strong these two players were, we moved towards them. Um, let's loop behind them. Hoping to catch them off guard, we ran forward, but they spotted us. Oh yeah, they do not want to mess with us. You charging? Them. Oh, they got bows. Take the arrows. Oh, they're just wasting yeah, arrows. Take the arrows. Should we focus them or should we go for the the drop? Oh my god, that bow does three and a half hearts. Watch shield. out, watch out, watch out. Hold up your shield. Yeah, that bow does three and a half hearts. As these two players wanted to get back to their group with the loot that they had found in the supply drop, they decided to leave. They've gone, they've gone. And as they ran away, another broadcast was put out in chat as another supply crate had been dropped into the map. Supply drop, uh, X, five, six hundred. Five, six. That's wait, wait, right we're here. We're here. That's right here. Where? Look up. Is it in the sky? No. X, five, six hundred. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, yeah, it is. This supply crate had been dropped less than 100 blocks away from our location, which caused those players on horses to turn around as they wanted to try and get their hands on some more loot. Right, oh wait, watch out, the people behind us, people behind us, people behind us. Watch out, oh my god, oh! Oh! Oh my god. What the hell was that? That was a trap. Oh my god! Did he get <laughs> They're dead. No, no it got only got one. one, it got one. What? Completely unaware that this crate was rigged with TNT, Clown Pierce opened the chest hoping to grab the loot inside. And with TNT being set off underground, this allowed us to take down one of these players as their teammate escaped back into the forest. 
We are so lucky we didn't just actually stay for that. No, I, I actually heard it. Why did you not say, uh, trap? Ah, uh, you weren't close enough to Oh, my it. power three bow, nine golden apples, nine 31 golden apples. diamonds. I've got a stack of diamonds. Watch Thanks. my back. Watch my back. Holy crap. How? A strength potion. A strength potion? Yeah. Wait, g give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Whoa, whoa. We could share it. It's, it's actually only one person. You can't I, share it. No, yeah, I know. We... Uh, right. how do you make it? Oh, we need a blaze I don't know where they rod. got this, but... Oh, 30 Probably books? The drop. Are you serious? Probably the drop, right? Oh, wait, take my three books as well, then. Why did it explode? We had so much good loot in there. <laughs> what was in it? What did you see? I saw, like, uh, a bunch of ender pearls, oh. a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so at least we know, though, that they're worth getting, right? That's a yeah. thing to take. Oh, I've got yeah, nine golden apples, golden by apples. the way. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I was going to say, I can drop you a couple of those Thank and you. take four. Okay, right. Oh, that, that was a moment of stress right there. <laughs> we got through it, all right. In future, if you hear TNT or a trap, please tell me. Don't just be like... I, I was... Okay, I, my mind was racing with what I should do. <laughs> That's fair. It's fine, you survived, you survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as we shared out this loot and thought we were in the clear, a large group of players showed up as they wanted to get a hold of the loot as well. Oh, yeah, watch out, watch out, oh, watch out. Run, run. There's three of them. All iron, normal. All right. We could... I don't know. What do you want to do here? Your call. As we ran, they held back since they only came over here for the supply crate. But as we stopped running, another player showed up. There's another person. Another person. Another person. Another person. He's on his own. Right, let's, let's get him. him. Let's just get him. Buddy, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Why did you do that? We could have gone up to him. No! Oh! He stopped please anyway. Me, please, I'm please. sorry. I had a bear. And I'm gonna stop, die. Stop knockbacking him. What, how do you want me to kill him? I'm just swinging to kill him. Fritz. Fritz. You are going to kill me. Why not? Are you on your own? I'm on my own. Oh. Wait, wait. Team, team. Yeah. Is it worth teaming here? Do you want a team? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, well, these people... Ah, oh, you. clown. Those, the people are coming after us still anyway. Oh, why is it... Nice. Okay, Clown, watch up. Look, top left, top left, top left. Is it? That, that team's here again. That team's here again. Once again, Clown showed no remorse as he attacked another solo player who was looking to team with us. But this wasn't going to be our only fight, as one of the players from District 14 that had rushed us at the crate a few minutes before had followed us to the river. That team's here. I just saw Aim Pie there. Okay. She's back. Um, Bro, I was... <laughs> I was just trying to get him to stop running. That's fair. Oh, uh, are they coming this way? I see someone's like <laughs> I think it's funny them. that you... Oh, wait, look at that. There's Dark Oak Forest. Dude, we, we could have gotten mushrooms from there the whole time. Somebody else has got to have them, right? Surely, then. I doubt it. I, I wonder don't. if there's a woodland mansion or a totem. Mm, I mean, maybe, but... Let's, it... uh, let's check out the other team. We don't want them coming up behind us, so let's uh, try sneaking up and seeing what they okay. are up to. Okay, the drops there to the left. That's where the they drops were. are. The drops are too good to not focus them right now. If people get the drops, then we're gonna be out here. Oh, there, there they are see. still there. They are still there. Aim pies on. Wait, I only see one. Is she trying to wait? Wait, 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 clown. I think she might be trying to bait. She like what? they're crouched in that hole and she's bait. Nice, nice, good stuff. <laughs> All right. This player had actually been left behind by her team, allowing us to pick up another kill with ease as the rest of District 14 ran off back towards their base at Cornucopia. But after we had taken down their teammate, they decided to turn around and come back for revenge. Oh, watch oh. out, watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's much more. There's 2v2. You can take this. You guys. Let's go, Reaper. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, Clown, nice. I thought you died. No. Holy <laughs> crap. I I heard silence and then just a death. I thought you died on me. <sighs> nope, I would not. Somehow we were able to take these two players down with ease and decided it was probably best to leave this area as players continue to show up looking for the crate. That was the supply drop. Oh, another one. Oh, a supply crate has been dropped at uh, minus... Oh, that's a long way away. That's literally a doubt. That's back where we just were. As more crates were dropped throughout the map, 
other districts continued to try and get a hold of the loot inside, which ended badly for them. Oh, dear, 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 dear. What? Oh! So as players continued to die all over, we decided to head back towards the dark oak forest that we had seen only a few minutes ago, in the hopes of finding a woodland mansion inside to get our hands on a totem of undying. Oh, another player just died. I've got 13 arrows. How many you want? 24. Okay. Wait, do you want to drop me a few more just because I got the power three? No. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. Steal my gold. Steal my iron. Got nothing. Hey, you stole most of my iron. Okay, here. By the way, here's actually some left. So. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And now as we entered the Dark Oak Forest, the hunt for a mansion started. What the hell, bro? You can't even water up a tree. This is so bad. Wait, can you shift and do it? Wait, how did you do that? You break the leaf. Oh. I can't even get up. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Maybe we could set up a trap at the, uh, if there is a structure, like at the door to it, like the other one. Sure. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we want to be smart, we'll set up a trap around the center. Because then wherever we are on the map, we're going to be close to it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there is. Is that, oh. is that a woodland mansion? Can you see that? It's something like that. It looks like one. Probably looted, but let's check it out. This was a mini woodland mansion that had actually claimed the lives of four players from District 25 earlier on, as they had gone inside and were killed by the custom vindicators that were inside, dealing insane amounts of damage. And as we had heard these players talking about the vindicators earlier on, as we approached, we were careful. Oh, it's like a small wood. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, I hear a vindicator. Watch out. I heard about mobs that one shot people. Where is Don't it? Don't waste your arrows on this. Well, if it's gonna one shot me, oh, they're spawners. They will not break. Okay. Uh, have you got torches? Uh, I don't think this you is got torch. Have you got torches? Oh, watch out! Yeah, knock it into me. Why yeah, don't you? yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have you got uh, coal? For I don't torches? have torches. Ah, okay. I uh, have coal here. Right, I'll make a few. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Five hearts. Run, Five hearts. Run! Run! Five hearts. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Oh, they're following us. Run away. They got some range. Just he's, keep running he's away. He's still coming. If they're in yeah, there. That's, not, that's no, not worth it. Is it not? What if we burn the place down? They're just going to swarm us. Yeah. I just feel like it could be an evoker. Ah, oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, we, we could if you want to, but I'm going to hang back a bit. They did five, what, they took me down to five hearts. Um, Look at that. Yeah, they'll two hit you. Oh, he's still coming. This guy's resilient. Yeah, he is. is he on me or you? Okay, you keep running up. Oh. Oh, they're not really strong, though. They're not, they're not. But they, you know, if two they of them damage. come at you at the same time, it's yeah. going to be We could use lava and water to push them back. Yeah. Could, you could break blocks in there, right? Yeah. Sure. It's okay, not world guarded. Let's, let's do it. Okay. If we fight, if you see an evoker, I'm gonna ask you to do this beforehand because you didn't do it with the trap. Call it out, and I'll try and take it down with a bow before it activates. Okay, sure. That might work. So, with a plan in mind, we approach the entrance to the mansion once again. All right, uh, water's going down. Are you going in there? Are you insane? Yeah, the water's down. It's fine. They can't get to me now. Look, come here. Oh, there is an evoker, clown. Yeah. There is an evoker. I can see it. Really? I got it. I killed it. I got it. Really? Wait, watch out, there could be more. There's a totem here. Oh no. There's another one. Clan, clan I got the totem. I have a totem. Oh, you've got one as well. Vindicator on me, no, totem. Vindicator on me, Vindicator on me. I'm gonna take it down. Oh my god, this one, this one's stronger. Okay, wait, you good? Where are you? Oh, you're up there. I got a totem yeah, as well. Good. All right, all right, we got two totems. Holy crap. Okay, the pillagers are upstairs. That water was such a such a good play. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> let me get over here. After getting not only one, but two totems of undying, we spotted some players in the distance that belonged to District 38 that had set up a camp in this forest for their four-player team. And unsure as to how strong their group was, we had to play this safe. What's the play here, then? Uh, we could check out what the foreman is doing. If we sneak up on them, we can get two kills before they realize what's going on. True. we got to go down, though. We can't be on top of the trees, because I can still see them from here. 
Like, the render distance is far. Yeah. Um, yeah, we gotta strike before they realize what's going on. Mm hmm. We gotta get in there. We gotta crit them three times with the. Oh, that, 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 I see him. I see him. As we were outnumbered by twice as many players, we had to make sure we weren't seen as we approached their camp. And with them looking out over the forest, sneaking up on them wouldn't be easy. Uh, have they noticed us? Or no, me, I don't think so. A... We've got a, we, the, the trees are covering oh, us a yet. lot right now. Oh, they're coming a... down. I'm hiding behind the fern. They, they might be able to hear you. No, I think we're good for now. They are not looking at us yet. Oh, they're looking the other way. I think we're good here. I think Maybe. the farmer's the one with the gold boots. Yo, we got this. I'm not going to lie. I think we got this. Oh, Ollie, there's a Reno. Oh, no, 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 no. What's up, guys? Hey, wait, wait, wait. You good? You good? Right, you got one. Nice. Right, they're all back up there. Your sword 4000 here. Yo, I know I'm not. What? Are you kidding me? He is. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So don't go in alone. No, I'm not. I'm on top. Larva. I've got two on me. Larva. Larva. Yo, yo, yo. Bro. They're not doing much. They got my shield. Come on. Come on. No. How is he not dead? Oh, I got him. I got him with the bow. Nice. Okay. Clown, you good? Is that clown dead? No. Yes. Come on. We got this. One more, one more. I got the other one. I got the other. This is the last guy. Hit him. He's weak. He's very weak. Keep chasing. He's the last one left. Oh, he's getting away. No. After taking out three players, Tarka Bear was able to slip through the forest and started to run, eventually leading us all the way back towards the river. Oh, if he goes in the water, I might be able to get him with the bow. Come on. Here we go. Oh, I've got no arrows left. No. This guy doesn't stand a chance. I'm gonna cut him off. Yes! <sighs> Let's go! This guy had 29 diamonds. So with the whole of District 38 eliminated, we headed back over towards their camp to loot their bodies after we had abandoned them to chase down their teammate. These corpses are gonna be gone by now, I think. So it's just gonna be the loot on the floor. Probably, but... I cannot believe, yo. I did quite well. I went up and then they were both on me. Yeah, yeah. I, I was a little worried Holy about leaving diamonds. you alone, but you did well. Yeah, oh, wait until you see the shot that I got on one guy. Oh, it was great. Um, yo, I've got two stacks of diamonds. This is ridiculous. Here's literally what we do. We make two armor sets, we enchant them both, and then we combine and we get prod two. That is also very smart. And as we spoke about having too many diamonds, day five had officially begun, unlocking the final crafting recipes, which included all diamond armor and tools. Okay, do you want to make two sets now? Do you know what? The one thing that everybody always messes up on, and I'm not doing it, is taking off your armor set to enchant. That's where everybody yeah, gets called exactly. lacking. So exactly. if we do have two sets anyway, we should be good. Because then we can yeah. just keep one on at all times. Precisely. Alright, um... Alright, I say we go to mid, enchant this stuff, and then we gotta set that trap up. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, even if it's just a fall trap to a dripstone, something that, if someone, like, we make it look like a base, so then someone might get curious and go in, and then die. Yeah, we could do that. This base is kind of nice, though. I like what these guys did here. Despite upgrading our armor to diamond, fighting larger teams would be much harder now, as they also had access to diamond armor. But before we made our way over to Cornucopia, hoping to enchant our new items, Clown Pierce had an idea. All right, hold on. Before we go, we need to do something important. We are getting some uh, apples. Wait, can you get it from Dark Oak? Yep. After getting a bunch of gold from those players we had just killed, we needed a load of apples to make sure that we could put it to use. So we crafted diamond hose and started breaking a bunch of leaves hoping to get apples. But in the process, we found something else. There seems to be a bear over there. A bear? Yep. Where? Right there. I want to see it. The direction. Oh! There's the bear. I want to kill it. What does it drop? Oh, I've got no arrows. Okay, I need Clown to drop me some arrows. Okay, no, I'm not going anywhere near that. Screw that. <laughs> I'm, I've Do not bears got... climb trees? Oh, my God. In real life, they can, so I don't know. Um, Hi, Clown Pierce. I'm once again... I can hear it what? moving. I'm once again uh, looking for some arrows. I've got none. There's just zero arrows. You've nothing? Okay, I'm not going to keep giving you my arrows. They're my arrows. I got I two them. kills with them. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. 
Kill some chickens. As it seemed, Clown was still unwilling to share his arrows. I had to keep my eyes out for some chickens as we continued to break leaves for apples. What are you spleefing me? <laughs> I got a whole one apple from 700 leaves. Really? There's no way this is the most efficient. I got 11. I got two. I think you're stealing all of mine, to be honest. No, I have not, bro. You're just bad at apple picking. Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, chickens. Feathers, finally. Uh, Hey! Hey, my uh, chicken! No, it's my chicken. I got that first. <laughs> God, I'm never going to get any arrows around here. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Let's go. Come on, give me some feathers. No feathers. Finally, after getting enough apples to use all of our gold, we crafted what we needed as I then spotted a supply drop in the distance. Um, I see a supply drop over there. I mean, okay, to be fair, I'm a little uncomfortable finding it heights. I think we should probably avoid that. Man, you're the god of water bucket clutches. Uh, no, I'm not. I've seen you clutch a good bucket in my day. I'm the god of fighting on the ground with my feet firmly planted oh, in the Oh, how soil. humble of you to call yourself the god. Yeah. I mean, fair play, you've earned it. Yeah, how, how, much, <laughs> how much have you heard me being humble today? Yeah, not much, actually. You know, words can't hurt. Despite Clown being scared, we continued making our way over towards the supply drop and quickly realized there was nobody nearby. Uh, yeah, I think we just wasted our time. There's literally no one here. What are we doing? Why are you still using an iron spear? Uh, because it looks cool. It looks intimidating. Make a diamond sword already. Ah, okay. So after upgrading my iron spear to diamond, we finally started making our way over towards Cornucopia to enchant our gear, which was hopefully going to be easier after the stacked group of players from District 53 that had been camping the enchantment table were attacked by killer bees. Why is there a bee now? What the f***? What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Bro, it only does poison. Just, yeah. Oh, what the f***? Yo, get away! <laughs> get in the water, they can't get in water. They can't get in water. As they were killed or forced to take cover from the bees, this allowed other groups to finally approach Cornucopia and enchant their gear. Meaning even though the previous district had been removed by the bees, we'd still have some competition as more players had now showed up. Oh yeah, there's- Oh, uh... there are people. That's a four? Yeah. Five. Oh, and they're looking right as well. There's, I think there's a team to our right somewhere. Watch out. They're looking over to our right. As Middle was being camped once again by a stacked group of players, another smaller group appeared from the forest beside us, giving us the perfect chance to clean up if they started fighting. But, Clown Pace of course had other ideas. Let's push it, let's push it and try lobbing. Okay, you can't place blocks there, watch out, watch out, remember you can't place blocks at mid. Okay. So you can't lava. Oh, there are people to our right, to our right. Knack asleep oh, and... Holy, this wait, three. They have let's go oh, they're coming as well. They're coming. Let's wait, watch out. Wait, wait, wait. No, let's, let's no. Let's go for them. Come There's going to be two teams here, though. They're going to clean us up. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is the worst idea. What the hell? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? No, we're, a team of, we're a team of three. We're a team of oh, three. Oh, right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. Oh. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not trying to be with this stuff. Yo, what's up, sword? What's oh. up? Run, I've got fire run, run, run. You don't want this smoke. Sword, I miss you! No, you know what? I'll leave you alone, cause you- No, 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 you- No, no I'm scared you, of you, 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 you came you for me! You came for me! I'm over! Alright, that's it, you're getting the smoke. You're getting the smoke, buddy. <laughs> Get back here! Don't do this to me. I'm your biggest fan. No, too late now. No going back. Don't do this to me. As this player escaped and ran back towards his team, I ran back into the forest as me and Clown Pierce had split up during this fight. Where the hell did Clown go? I swear Clown said run at one point. I feel like he might have escaped. Closest player is, I think, Qualls. Right, I'm going to run this way, see if I can find anyone. Oh, man. Okay, there's a player this way, 170 blocks. That could be him. I hope he escaped. Someone died, though? Who died? 
Unsure as to if Clown was even alive, I started tracking the closest player, hoping that it was him. Okay, Clown is alive. Where is he? Is he this way? Is this him? Clown? But as I started tracking the nearby player, it quickly became clear to me that they were hiding in the trees above. Someone's above me. Someone is above me right now, but I don't know who it is. I need to try and get up there and see. This could be Clown. No, it's Knack asleep. He doesn't know I'm here. He has no idea I'm right behind him. I've got to be so stealthy. How is he not dead? No! Oh, if I... I don't know why I took five hearts of damage myself. That was the stupidest thing I could have done. After a failed attack, Nakasleep was able to run ahead hoping to escape. But luckily, as I chased him towards Cornucopia, I spotted Clown Pierce, who had managed to escape the other players and loop back around, cutting this player off. Wait, is that Clown? Oh, that's Clown! Yes! Oh, thank God. Perfect timing. Yo, I think he's low. That was incredibly... <laughs> I snuck up on him at the, right at the top of a tree. That was pretty close, wasn't it, Sword? I don't know if this guy healed up, though. I hit him off probably 20 block tree and I hit him with a crit as well so oh, okay he's uh he's fairly low but you know I got no arrows now that we were back together we continued chasing Naka sleep through the forest as he led us all the way out towards the plains once again before running out of hunger allowing us to finally catch up oh nice good stuff oh, I'm gonna die with this nice good work and with another kill in the bag, we quickly looted his body and prepared to fight again, as the five-player group that had attacked us only a few minutes ago was still around looking for us. Okay, we, we got a little bit of enchanted stuff now. Wait. Yeah, we as a team, you know, I'm, I'm a little tankier. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. One I thing... know, I know, but you know, I'm a, I'm a little tankier. This can help us both. Yeah, yeah. The trap, I think, if we set one up, I know I've been going on about this quite a lot, it's going to work. Bro, they chased me so easily yeah if we have a trap that we can lead them into and then like dripstone or something it'll work 100 percent. and even if i have to sacrifice myself in the dripstone trap i've got a totem so i can true but as we stood here discussing the trap another player appeared out of nowhere and started charging towards us oh oh mm -hmm. watch out let's go hi Okay. Do I you? Music Are you sure? Yeah, I have, I'm have pretty it. sure. Was... Even though this player wanted peace, as expected, Clown Pierce wasn't interested in teaming. I don't have a teammate. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys. Are... Oh. <laughs> did we just get <laughs> called assholes? Fun. Yeah, we did. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo, the game's the game. We've got to do it. And Quill, the game's the game. You know, this is what it means to be Clown Pierce. You've got to deceive people. Yeah, but this is brutal, man. This is this hurts me. Good. If if I was on the receiving end of this, bro, I'd be mad. I know. You should be. With another player brutally killed, pretty much all remaining districts on the server were stacked with five players each, as only 43 tributes remained. Meaning from now on, going into battle would be very dangerous, as we were outnumbered by almost every single district, which gave us no choice but to finally make the trap that we had been talking about for so long. All right, it's time to make that trap. Sure. Let's go back towards mid. Okay, we can dis disguise it as like maybe a mine or something. What if we I'll do it like the lifesteal thing where we, they did like the, uh, they went down this hole and they started placing blocks behind them. Behind them? It's gonna be going down the hole and there's gonna be this block. And once you reach that block, you realize that, oh, I should place a block right here. Then people are going to be standing right here because they're trying to chase me. Then you break this block, and this is a pitfall. Oh, okay, so we need a shovel then. Oh, we got a lot riding on this. For that. With Clown Pierce having built some of the craziest traps Minecraft has ever seen in the past, I trusted that this simple but effective trap would do the job. All right, cool. 
All right, now we just got to lure people over. Wait, let me save these coordinates. Was it Ovoma? Yeah, Ovoma is still alive. 44. Knowing that District 44 was far too strong to take down in a regular fight, we knew our only chance of eliminating them would be with the trap. So we made our way back over towards Cornucopia, hoping to find our first victims, which didn't take long. Oh, there, to our left. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Run to an area where we can build. To the trap? Yeah, sure. We can run to the trap. JJQ's. Uh, no. I'm killing the horse. I shot the horse. She's just going to trail us. Uh, we got a bank right for the trap. Oh, don't say it so loudly. Instead of finding District 44, we found the players from District 46 that had not only found the other supply drop earlier, but had also spent pretty much this entire event fishing for loot, making them incredibly OP as they had fished up enchanted books, bows, and even saddles, which they were able to use to ride horses, which would make escaping from them much harder than usual. Oh my god, they're shooting at me. That hurts. As they chased us down, dealing extreme damage with their bow, we ran past the trap by accident, giving us no choice but to fight. Oh my god. We ran past it. I'm going up, I think. Do you want to go up? On the trees? Oh. That horse is giving him a big advantage. They do a lot of damage. Not that sword's bad, but clown's more of a danger. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what is this weapon? Run. Oh no. Swords on the tree, swords coming in. Is he done? No way. Kill claws! Don't let him kill claws! No! With one of their players down, we were still outnumbered, and as we continued to fight, we started to split up. With no choice but to run as I was overpowered by this player, the rest of District 46 worked together and eliminated my teammate. No! Yes! The sword! Oh my god! Oh sh No! After being my right-hand man since the start, Clown Pierce was overpowered by this team, leaving me with no choice but to run as they looted his body and took the totem of undying that he wasn't able to use in time. There's no way I can take them. There is no way. They've got all of his stuff as well. Oh, no. So, as I was now all alone, I had to be careful to make sure that that group that was now even stronger than before weren't still hunting me down. Are they coming? No, they're still over there. Ah! And with no choice but to stay on the move, I decided to loop around Cornucopia, hoping that the larger teams would eventually fight each other, bringing their numbers down, giving me a chance to fight them equally. But in the meantime, finding a group to team up with would be very beneficial. So I pulled out my player tracker and started looking for a new teammate. How many... Where's my closest player? 130. Okay. I guess we just gotta try and... See if that's a, a solo player. If it is, I'm going to have to beg them to team. The potato guy. The potato guy. Oh, oh you scared me. You want a team? <sighs> yes, please. Are you on your own? Uh, I was teamed with John Fortnite. So you are? Gave me a heart attack. Yeah, I know. I've just lost my teammate. You want to join me? Yes, please. Teams invite the potato guy. I'm going to trust you here. With no other options, we decided to team up, hoping to give us a chance against some of the larger groups that were still dominating this event. And we knew that if we wanted to try and kill some of these players, we'd have to enchant our armor and weapons. So started making our way back over towards Cornucopia. I've got to go to mid and enchant. There's no way I'm going to be able to take all that out those other players if... I don't have better armor. Because they're all enchanted now. Yeah. Right, you're gonna have to be careful here. Just watch out. Okay. There's a big team at mid, I see them. Watch out. I don't know if they're chasing someone or if they're leaving mid. I think. Oh, there's two teams. 
Since the world border had already started to close in, players all over the map had been forced to abandon their bases as they were being pushed slowly towards Cornucopia, meaning the majority of players were nearby. Yeah, they're about to charge each other, and then these guys are going to clean up. This is like... Oh, they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. I wonder if... Wait, wait. Let's sneak around the back and see if we can pick off anybody trying to run. Quick, run, run, run. If we can get behind where they're going to run from, we'll be able to grab them. Let's go. Look, here's one. I knew it was going to happen. But as we made our way over, hoping to take out the players that branched off from their teammates, we were spotted. Hell no. Hell no, they spotted us. Run. They're chasing us, they're chasing us. Keep running. The same team that had killed Clown Pierce earlier were now chasing me once again, which gave me another chance to use the trap that Clown had made, hoping to avenge his death. I'm going to the trap. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it was worth a try. Okay, go kill Kataza. Sword, we're gonna kill Kataza. Bye-bye. No! Why did they not come down here? Oh my god, that would have worked! As I had run underground, the players on District 46 continued chasing the potato guy, eventually catching up to him and killing him. And now, as I was once again alone, I had to come up with another plan. I've got to make another trap. I need more than one. Since these players probably knew that this was a trap now, I had to quickly make a new one, which would be a suicide trap, allowing me to take advantage of my totem of undying whilst also taking out a few of their members. But, as I started working on the trap, the players that had just killed the potato guy started tracking me with their compasses and were planning to launch an attack on me as they snuck up towards my trap that was not ready yet. And as I heard some movement above me, I checked my player tracker and realized they were right above me. Oh god. Where are they? <gasps> oh! Surprise. No, 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 no. How's it going? Oh. Sorry, you had two options. As they had returned before the trap was ready, I was surrounded with no other options as I tried my best to escape into a nearby cave. Oh, oh, you have a trap. Uh, oh, there's a trap. So, do you want a team or do you want to die? Team or die? Team? Sword. Which one? If you want a team with us, because we just... need one more person, we just killed your teammate, so you don't really have anywhere else to go. But you could redeem you wanted... yourself when you betrayed me earlier. I didn't yeah. betray you. That was his fault. I tried to tell him not to. Well, you Clown's dead me. now. Potato's dead. So all your teammates are dead. If you want. It looks like you Just to stand your team. That's all you need to do. With no way out of this situation, it became clear to me that they needed me more than I needed them, as they had one less player than District 44 that was still camping Cornucopia with some incredibly OP loot. So instead of forfeiting and allowing them to kill me, I accepted their offer to join District 46 with a secret plan in mind. Alright, invite them now. Invite them, JJQ. Oh man, I'm sorry, Gabriel. I didn't... Yeah, I can't believe you... I can't it wasn't me. Betray Gabriel. He's it wasn't me! Guy. Really? Why are you who are you shooting at? Well... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, don't question it. As it seemed these players already trusted me, they had no idea that I only joined this team to take them down from the inside, one player at a time to get revenge for them killing Clown Pierce. But this would take some time as I had to wait for the perfect moment to make killing them believable. So for now, I had to act normal. I need to enchant my gear. We yeah, a lot of us. Oh, me yeah, too. There, there's uh, two teams at mid right now, so... Okay, Let's go, okay. alright. We, we Should we rush mid? Then. Is it worth it? Knowing that we'd only be able to take down the other districts if we all had enchanted gear, we made our way back towards the middle, hoping to enchant. And as expected, the players from District 44 were still camping there. Very yeah, awesome. they're, they're all just camping. Okay, you know what, guys? Let's just push. With equal numbers, Mr. JJQ led the charge as we made our way over towards District 44. Wait for us. Sword! Sword, we gave you a chance to join our team, bro. Yeah, I joined a different team. They all have strength. No. Uh-oh. Yo, get, 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 get this guy. Get Berlin. Berlin's low. Oh my god. This. Buddy, I have strength. Oh no, you do have strength. 
you hate us. I'm going to the trap. I'm going to the trap, Chikonk. After losing two of their members, the rest of their team ran away into the forest, hoping to escape. Do you want right, to chase him? He can. Nah, no, 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 no. No, he's going to a trap. He said he was going to a trap. Yeah, he said he was going to a trap. Yeah, he said he was going to a trap. not good. Yeah, let's enchant. Yeah, let's, en let's enchant. Let's enchant. So as they ran away into the distance, this allowed me to finally enchant my armor. And as I stood around the enchantment table, I waited for the perfect time to strike, hoping that one of my teammates would take off their armor, allowing me to attack them. But things quickly changed, as District 52 that had been hiding underground with all five of their members this entire time, made a charge towards us, hoping to catch us off guard. Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, Ah, you are. Yes. Come on, give me this kill as well. No. Come on, fight. Uh. Yes. Any arrows? Any arrows? Any Thirty arrows. Oh my god. After once again taking down a few of our enemies, the rest of District 52 ran off into the forest, which gave me an idea as to how I could kill one of my own teammates. I need to pick one of these guys off at some point. I'm running out of time. Ah, uh, I wonder if I get one of them to follow me into the forest. I might be able to take them out that way. After deciding to try and lure one of my teammates into the forest and kill them, I made my way over towards the forest to see if my plan would work, but instead ran into District 44 and 56 that had joined up and merged teams after they had both lost some teammates when fighting us a few minutes ago, causing us to once again be up against a five-player team. Oh! Do you have strength? Do, have stre Do you have strength? Sure, yeah! Instead of fighting us, they decided to once again retreat back into the forest as they tried to lure us towards the trap that we had heard of Oma shouting about earlier. Watch out, there's a trap probably. There it is. Yes, sir. Yo, get low, get low, get separated, get low, get low, get low, get low. Watch out, he's digging in, he's digging in, he's digging in. I'll take it in, I'll take it in. Hello there. There's another hole! There's another hole, Luke! There's another hole, Luke! Go to the back to the previous coordinates. Holy! Holy, I'm digging you in! I'm digging you in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in. Go, go, you're good! 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 After their trap had failed, they tried to escape underground. So I started digging towards them and eventually broke through into a cave that they were hiding in as the rest of my team backed me up. Go up. Luke! Luke! Luke, Luke slow! Go. Luke slow! Come I can tell it! I can... Get LT5, get LT5. He's low, he's low, he's low. Get LT5, get LT5, get LT5. Pick up, pick up, pick up. He's so low. Sorry, get out of the way. He's got everyone. We're good. He has like dropped them. Oh, sorry. Holy. Wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. As they hadn't expected us to follow, their team had now scattered and split up all throughout the caves in the hopes of escaping from us, allowing us to start focusing certain players that were on their own. One well, got way over here. Quick, 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 quick. Keep coming. He's just dug into the wall here. Chase him. I don't know which one it was. He's through here. There he is. Yeah, I see him. I see him. He's here. He's here. He's here. I'm going to keep chasing him. There, yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. Yep. Lt5, 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 I think. I think move. Um, yeah, it's LT, it's LT. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'm lobbing him, I'm lobbing him, lobbing. Come on, LT, you know you're gonna die. Let's go! Finally. I don't have a I don't have a pickaxe, so guys, look at the cake. Give me this guy's arrows. arrows. He's got no arrows! Oh he's got a poison arrow, okay. So, with another tribute down, I looked for an opportunity to take out one of my teammates within the chaos. But with the whole team nearby, it was way too risky. And as the rest of District 44 had managed to escape, we decided to make our way back towards the surface, hoping to catch them as they made their way up. But as we made our way back up, we spotted a new player that had been hiding from everyone and avoiding the chaos this whole time. So, as expected, we started hunting him down. That's what boosts me. Never mind. Ah! Okay, let's, no! Let's just go back to bed. Let's just go back to bed. No, yeah, I'm killing this guy. I'm not, I'm not running again. Get him, Sora. He's gotta eat at some point. He tried building up with dripstone. <laughs> Let 
Let's go! My kill! <laughs> Take that cobweb. Hey, who cares? Uh, okay, there's not nothing good in here. So that's a bit. Now, with all immediate threats taken care of, we were able to make our way back towards the middle as the final players were trying their best to regroup with their teammates after they had escaped in the caves. Where is Avoma, though? Oh, is that He's him? On the ground somewhere. Who's just fishing? That's JQ. That's JQ. He's enchanting uh, a boat to Infinity. Bro, an Infinity boat right now would be so good. And as we made our way back over towards JJQ, my prayers were answered pretty quickly. Infinity power one. Where? Oh my. Um, can you drop me all arrows for one now? I've got one arrow, and it's a poison arrow. How does that work? Wait, have oh. I got oh, infinity yeah, poison? Not good. Uh, no, you don't. Know. So with an infinity bow acquired, it was time to hunt down the rest of the players, which included my teammates. So I had to come up with a way to split them up from each other, which would allow me to take them out one at a time. Yeah. I'm going to split up from you guys because my player track is pointless when I'm right next to you. That's not a good idea. I then realized it was going to be harder than expected to pick off my teammates, as these two decided to stick by my side, which ended up actually being a good choice, as we made our way back into the forest and spotted the players from District 44 that had just resurfaced. There they are. I see luck. Go, 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 go. They can't run for that long. They're going to run for Yeah, all long. three of them are here. Watch out. It's a 2v3. Around to me, banana. Let's go. Mm -hmm. There's much damage, bro. No, 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 no. Somehow, these players managed to escape with barely any health remaining. But as the team continued to hunt them down, they eventually caught up and managed to take down Avoma and the banana. As Holy and Yes Luck took cover up a nearby tree, hoping to stay hidden as we continued hunting them down. So, where are they? Yo, I don't know. They ran this way somewhere. Did I just see someone in the trees? No, it's water. Oh, wait, yeah, let's go up here, go up here. Let's see if we can see them. I don't know where 63 oh, are. Oh, yeah. The bird's out of view. They're probably hiding. They're scared of us. After spotting a sky base with some dripstone, I saw this as the perfect opportunity to take out my teammate as the rest of the team had split up from us, meaning we were all alone. There used to be a team up here, too. I wonder where, where they were. Yeah, there's a dripstone thing here. Right there. Oh, oh, they have a farm over here. Oh, I see. You see You see that person over there on the trees? Oh, that's a group. Oh, there's a few of them there, yeah. Who is that? Ah, yeah, yeah, no! Yes! Finally, after waiting for the perfect opportunity, one of my teammates was down as the others had no idea what had happened. But I wasn't safe yet, as two players from District 44 that had taken cover up a tree were less than 100 blocks away. I cannot die now. Yes! I got another one! Come on, I've got to rush these now. Infinity Bow is coming in clutch. I killed my own teammate to be here. Wait, who's bowling me? Oh, it's you. Yes! Oh my god! What a shot! With another player down, my chances of winning this event increased dramatically as I was able to get my hands on more golden apples and protection 2 diamond armor. Protection 2 diamond. Let me throw that on. And now with my upgraded armor that would hopefully help me take out my teammates, I made my way back towards Cornucopia, hoping they didn't suspect anything. Okay, Gabriel said they're at mid. Okay, I've got to pull some, some lies out right now. Oh my god. Is Gabriel on his own? I could take him, maybe. Oh no. No, they both just... Okay. Yo. Hello. Alright, it's Did a 2v4. El Deathly died, but I got Holy and... Uh, yes, look. Nice, we got another one of those guys. Ones. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Well, we were, we were up in the trees, so it was... I Yeah, I don't know. Luckily, my teammates suspected nothing, allowing me to continue plotting to kill them from only a few blocks away. But with time running out, I had to think quickly, as only two districts now remained. District 63, which contained two players, and District 46, which we were all a part of. So, with limited time before the deathmatch, I tried to split up my teammates once again. Each go one way, we'll find them very quickly. Okay, I'm going this way. Okay, I'll go this way. I'll go this 
Okay, right, they've split up. Swerving is my next victim. Yo, yo, they're sticking yeah. together, so we may as well. Let's head this way. Right, Actually, right, no, let's right, go right, this right, way, right. this way, this way. I think they were up that tree that I was up before, but I ran because I needed to get back to you guys. With the hopes of hitting Swerving off the same treehouse as I did to El Deathly, we started making our way over. But my plan failed horribly as he spotted the players from the final district. Oh, they're right over there. I see, I see them on that big tree. Oh, yeah. So as we approached the final team, I had to improvise. This is perfect for me to knock my teammates down. I then made my way up the tree, hoping to knock my teammate down. But as Gabriel Ender and Mr. JJQ also arrived, I knew there was no way to do this without being caught. So I changed my focus to the players on District 63, who had spotted me below them. Yes, sword, yes. Bind, bind, bind. He has strength, he pops strength, but... Uh... Oh, they're running. Both of these players were able to escape somehow, causing a chase to start as they led us back towards Cornucopia. But as we quickly caught up, they stood no chance. Come on. Sorry, Bomb. Let's go. Hey, come on. Good stuff, good stuff. Last two. This last, this last guy. Over here, this way. I don't give up, but this was a very fun event. Well played. GG. GG. Now with the final district being eliminated, all that remained was District 46. And with only one player allowed to be the winner, as expected, they all started focusing on me as I was the most recent player to join their group. Where did I just wait, Sam? This way, this way, this way. Got a bonus back. After a few minutes of fighting, Mr. JJQ and Gabriel Ender decided to team up, eliminating Swerving from this event, as they both put their focus back on me as only three players remained. Paul's gonna be dead. Whoa. I went up there. I ain't got any food. Food, 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 food. No food. No food. Food? Any food? With no food remaining, I panicked and missed the bread that was floating in the water right in front of me, and had no choice but to run as Gabriel Ender was chasing me down as he wanted revenge for going against him at the start. And after being shot, taking me down to one heart, JJQ decided to go against Gabriel. Eliminating him from the event as I tried my best to find some food nearby to heal up. I need to find food! No! Please! Oh, I want heart. Please, no, 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 no. Where is the food? As I escaped back into the forest, dodging the arrows, I spotted the church from earlier and prayed that there was some food inside. It's gotta be something. Somewhere. Dry kelp. Come on, please. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. No! There's nothing left. This is it. I gave you a chance from the beginning. Let me, let me have mine. Oh. As I was taken down, Mr. JJQ was the final tribute remaining crowning her as the winner of the first Sword 4000 Hunger Games.